the next fight. Fardus Bellator from France and Rolly from France as well. E la volta di accogliere, e la volta di accogliere dalla Francia de France, Pardus Bellator. Ed è uno scontro fraticida perché Pardus Bellator combatterà in prima istanza sempre dalla Francia con Raui. Se, allora, fatemi una cortesia, si fanno di... To prepare for the second fight, we got Bardus Bellator, Grauli. Both teams are from the friends. Yeah, in white and black, we have French Grauli who are coming onto the field right now and soon after them to follow is Bardus Bellator in blue and red. Grauli in white and black taking the far list while Pardus Bellator in blue and red taking the closer field. In blue con i gigli reali, Pardus Bellator in o Bellator in la francese, in bianco e nero Raui. Fatelo sentire forte l'applauso. Gentlemen, ready? Have a Halabadie in Pardus Bellator, which is really nice. This is one of the first times I see today uh, Halabad in 5v5. Some say it's too long, but wow, he's giving some damage. Whoa. This is really strong. And quite strong and aggressive. More with the Halbert on the right flank from the... Pardus Bellato fighter with number two. Contro Graulli, ma non c'è ancora nessuno giù, e resistono. Pardus looking way more aggressive. I really like those Halbert strikes. Se qualcuno si domanda se si fanno male, hanno armature da 30 a 40 kg addosso e sono molto più di sotto. He's strikes, so he's strike high and low. That's very good tactic. It's still an even fight, I believe. It's still five versus five. Vediamo se ci sono accendimenti. And we have attempt to throw by the Halbert here with the number two. No, the first, the first Grauli is down. Yeah, the first from the Grauli team is down. The second one also is down. So it's five versus three for Bartus Bellator. It's five against three. Oh, and again, uh, nice. yes. that was good. brutal strike by the Halberdier, and another ground is down. And now they just finish it off. That's the worst position for someone to be trapped with the two Halberds, and it's, it's, it's finished. Very nice round. Both teams started evenly. Both teams started even, they met in the middle and on the sides. However, I think it was the axis and the halberd of Pardus Bellator that giving them the advantage. So first round goes to Partus Bellator. Voglio ricordare il regolamento 5 contro 5 è una delle serie del Bufurt che è un combattimento a colpo pieno. Eh, ci sono delle regole ben precise, sono poche e sono chiare. Non colpi di taglio, non colpi di punta, corretto? Eh, non colpi di punta, di taglio sì. No, di taglio quattro sversali. Ah, allora sì, sì. Altezza gola. Only still only using 
punch Vai. shields and one-handed weapons while Padus Pelato come now to the similar setup uh, very common setup right now with a runner in the middle who's got one-handed weapon and then on his both sides you see two-handed weapons that are used to, uh, to hit on the flanks and again, very good work uh, from the player, uh, from the fighter with the number two, from Pardus Bellator. I wish he would uh, he would hug less, use his weapon more, and he, he lost his halberd. No, 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 he still got it. Is it not broken? Look at that, number eight. He's giving some damage. I love that. Oh, top top. Ce n'è uno? Questo è vero un po' corto, eh? Wrestling in the middle. I think we're gonna see some mutual one. First, first fighter is down. Two fighters. Two fighters. Is the second one from Gravini down? So it's five versus three. The fourth is still two on their feet. And it's the finishing now. Whoa. Brutal finishing. And he's down, so it's, and it's all over. Stop, and it's finished. Stop, 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 stop. It's 2-0 from Paul Pardo So, let's give glory to Pardo Stellato and honor to Gravy. It wasn't an easy fight. It wasn't fast. But it definitely looked nice. Dunque, vogliamo ricordare il tuo nome, dici chi sei, che mi darai una mano dal punto di vista tecnico. Sono Thomas, del team Taurus. Taurus, già vincitore del torneo quando era Open. No, quando era... Quando era Challenge. Quando era Challenge. Nel 2016. Nel 2016. Con Taurus, che ha uno splendido battolo con quelle tante, con delle fissure. From France, Crowley against uh, Italian team Icarus. Almeno 30 volte Massimo Borgna, perché sono poi Massimo Borgna, 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 Massimo Team Icarus Coming team onto the list in black and red, Team Icarus, they already fought against Kai Kretesh in the opening of Group B, which they lost, so I believe if they want to have the chances to come out of the group, uh, they really, really need to win this fight. Please welcome from France, to the France, Gravy versus Italian Team Icarus. Facciamo forte un applauso. Same goes to Team Crowley. They've also lost the first fight. Therefore, both teams must be really, really motivated. They must be really looking to win that fight. Fight! Lack of two-handed weapons. I believe we're gonna see similar fight to the previous one, dominated by grappling. Wow, look at that. Mache Rail barely escaped in the middle. Mache Rail is the referee force in the yellow and black. One fighter from Icarus already down, so it's five against four. And the Italian team is looking for Icarus. Wrestling in the middle, 1v1. One one. One yes, it no, is 1v1. One one. Sacrificato. Two down for Icarus, one down for Graui. Per cui sono 3 contro 4. 3 contro 4, qua cambiano le dinamiche. In due, i francesi vanno a prendere l'italiano Coppa. Adesso cambia tutto.
Fate sentire la vostra voce. Oh, siamo in Italia, ti potete gli italiani. Icarus, Icarus, Icarus. Oh, ragazzi. Aia, aia. Sono 4-2. Stop! Primo fight vinto da Gravi per tre. Tre cavalieri in piedi. Spero di riposo, tempo di prendere fiato. Tutto bene in Gravi. 3-0 per Gravi, che ha vinto il primo round. Very even fight. And more running than we expected. Yeah, definitely. Jesus. One of the fighters has tripped on the outside of the list and almost killed himself. <laughs> well, he's fine, he's fine. He practiced his name. <laughs> Questa era veramente pessima come battuta. Grazie Massimo Borgna per averci aiutato. Uh, Volevamo ringraziare Massimo Borgna come Marshall. Borgno. Borgne. Borgnu. Borgna. E lui mi ha detto Borgna. No, hai detto Borgna. Both teams ready. Gentlemen, get ready. Crowley, one. Team Icarus, Gentlemen, zero. Gentlemen, get ready. Seconda match tra i francesi di Crowley e gli italiani di Team Icarus. Good Whoa. start from Team Icarus. Hanno cambiato il centrale. Sì. Questo è Bagliano da Bardi. Bagliano che ho visto all'opera diverse volte. Bello tosto. Runners in the middle, not doing much running so far. Qua c'è Stasi dal nostro lato, c'è un Icarus giù. One Icarus down, one Italian down. One Icarus down already. Si sono attaccati, si sono attaccati con l'armatura. Vediamo, vediamo cosa succede. Ai sei, è stato preso in mezzo da due. Dai ragazzi, tiratela fuori ragazzi, forza! Sacrificio per il numero 4, sempre più uno per la vita unica. Giù! E allora sta in un lovely throw by Icarus against the list. Dai ragazzi, dai! L'otto deve resistere, l'otto italiano deve resistere se vuoi So now we have three separate duels. E re! E che su! No, è giù! No, Pari. suicide, due suicide, we have... Due contro due. Is it two versus... Due contro due, two, ragazzi. From here. Potremmo farne una questione di tempo. Two versus two. Yeah, it is two versus two. two. Well, Team Icarus has to really pull something off from here. Sì. Otherwise, it's over for them in this match. Because it's still 1-0 in rounds for Team Crowley. E questo è uno scontro... Francia-Italia tra quattro combattenti eccezionali. Eh, non è facile, eh, no. è molto forte. E ora sono due duelli, devono lavorare insieme come un team. Aia, ah, yeah. il francese ha preso l'iniziativa. E ha tentato di trovare. Pronta posizione. Il tre tenta di mettersi in mezzo. Icarus 14 hit shot them, really Pronto. nice. Recuperato, One of the fighters recuperato. was really, uh, really to almost throw down. But his teammate came with support. It's a, it's a question of weight. And he freed himself. Di peso. He's pushing him against the bare body, I love that. And again, two duels on the sides of the list. They're not really working together. They come into the middle, I think. And the throw I, bet, I bet my money is going to be mutual suicide if they just continue to fight in the middle. Which they don't. They're trying to help each other and attempt to throw two versus one. And yes, yes, yes. And 
Exactly. No, it's one versus one now. Wow! Look at that! Icarus! Icarus coming out with a win, so it's 1-1. One, one. Beautiful. Oh, he must be exhausted. Yeah, he's coming out. He's going to be changed. He must be exhausted. Beautiful. What a comeback from Team Icarus. What a comeback. So we're going to have the third round. Third and final round of this match. Now it's going to be the game of stamina. Which team is better prepared? For the long and exhausting three rounds. Between the Italian team Icarus against the Francais de Creuilly. The third round is always difficult because there are many changes. He has been playing for two rounds and the third round has been played for 10 minutes. So it's an enormous fatigue for the combatants. Gentlemen, get ready, please. Icarus is getting some strong support from the fans. Obviously, they're local, they're Italian, and we are in Italy. Both teams have really similar fighting style. I really can't predict which team is going to win this. Oh, lovely kick to the knee. And oh, somebody's helmet. Very dangerous. The helmet of the one fighter was down. One French is down. An even fight, four against four. Whoever it looks like a great teamwork. Is he going down? Is he going down? Yeah, he is down. It looks like uh, the local Italian team, well, not so local, but Italian team, which lost the first round. Beautifully made it in a second and looks like they're coming on top in the third. The guy is even fight, two versus two. He's taking the Italian down. No. Oh wow! See that? Oh, nice. He made this. Oh. Oh. I told you these teams, the quality, the level is very similar. The Italian fighter has loads of bodies behind him. Obviously, that's a disadvantage. His legs are literally on top. On top of dead his bodies. Of dead bodies of Don't his friends as well, his teammates. Please. No, it's forbidden. They're still gonna be passive. The marshals will take this fight to the middle, but no, attempt to throw, to push. Oh, he did support himself against the body, so I think. No, I don't know. I think he supported himself against uh, a fallen fighter. Should be okay to me. Maciej is explaining. I think he's waiting, We're waiting for the decision of the marshal. I think they're gonna, yeah, yeah. like I said. Oh, no. 
Can you give it to the Italians? Yeah, okay, give it to the Italians. We're going to have to uh, see the preview of this again. Ah, allora, il gruppo di corpi dell'azione precedente a terra viene considerato come terreno, per cui il francese ha messo il ginocchio a terra ed è per quello che ha vinto l'italiano. Il Mami ha non challenging the decision, so I Un believe they agree with the marshal. Un grande applauso quindi, Glory to Marshall. Timmy Garros, great fight, though. really, really great fight. Wonderful fight. two fights so far, they only lost against the white company, while the Dickers lost against them, has won only one fight, and they've got two losses, so the, lo uh, the Italian team, Team Dickerus, while fighting on the homeland, He's facing two losses so far. Yes, and the next fight is Team Groly from France and White Company from UK. Both teams wearing white and black. However, in the different patterns, Groly has a half white half black tabard while white company which we are still awaiting for to enter the list has got white tabards with black stripes on one side and white company has won all of the fights so far which are two they've got two fights that they won and Groly has Groli has lost, has lost two fights. It's time from France, Graouy versus Great Britain, United Kingdom, White Company. So on paper, White Company obviously looks much stronger. White Company, please come to the list. However, we're still waiting for them to come to the list. I'm looking around, I can't really see them. Yes, they're coming now. <laughs> the referee is checking the helmets, checking the straps, and they're letting them onto the list. Cortesemente parlo con il pubblico, indossate la vostra mascherina, se non siete a distanza, grazie. Here we are. Let's give a great applause to White Company. Let's give a great applause to White Company. Let's give a great applause to Graui. E arriva lo sconto. E ringraziamo il team per la scelta dei colori molto varianti. Tutti diversi. In the group B, White Company and Graui have both two matches won so far. Rest of the team is that is uh, and, uh, one British, one first down. A second first down. Have one fight won so far. Stop. Okay. No, no. Okay. Stop. Stop. One of the fight is, uh, fastest fighting. rounds we've seen so far. First match to White Company. Come on, prendere l'abitudine di applaudire tutte le volte, grazie. 
trzeci, tutaj jedna akcja, nie? Właśnie to była przekrócona, szybkie sprowadzenie, bardzo silne. Gentlemen, get ready, please. Gentlemen, get ready, please. So, let's see if Gregory France is going to count even more this match. Bogus from White Company is doing uh, exactly what he does best, which means he's hooking onto the list, then using his physical strength to literally uh, force a fighter down onto, onto the ground, even if he's hooked to the list. It's an extremely strong fight, extremely physical. Look, he's done two, two exactly the same throws with two different fighters. That's all he has to do. And White Company wins 2-0. Head honor to the French of Gary. That gives White Company three. Uh, Hello. Honor, honor to the French Pardus Bellator. Per cortesia, un bel applauso. And Gary. Pardus Bellator the... receiving a huge applause. Well deserved, really, really well deserved. Well deserved. It's now time to go with the other French team. It's Gawin versus KS Research from Poland. It's France against Poland. Iga sentirsi la partita. Iga sentirsi, siamo verso gli ultimi scontri. I KSR sono al quarto sconto, mi pare. Esatto, corretto. Ci ricordiamo che ne passano quattro squadre per due. In the field, we've got Kaas Rutsch from Poland. Cortesemente, gentili spettatori, indossate la vostra mascherina, grazie. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Groli, from France. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Kais Richard is now fighting to be able to get out of the group, right? Well, for them it is uh, either win or lose everything. Kais Richard already, uh, sorry, only have one, one fight won in the group stage. Oh, and it's the same with Kroll Lee. So, yeah, similar uh, scenario to the previous game, uh, to the previous match. Whoever wins this one goes through, I believe. Yeah. In bianco e nero i francesi di Grogli, in bianco e verde i polacchi di Research. Vediamo un po' chi è più duro qua. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, oh. allora, sì, così, fateci. Kaz Ritz è molto aggressivo. Oh. Nice throw. Oh. Uh, ah, yeah. sì, nice throw by uh, Christoph Olczak. E as he was walking out, as he was walking away from his frag, he lost his weapon. Yeah. But thank God he was close to the uh, pit stop. He managed to receive a new weapon shortly. The problem is that all you do is lead and do fatigue, but you can also take the bottles. Open and put it on the ground. Oh! What a mistake. This is called Instant Karma. Let's hope that mistake is not going to come back. Instant Karma for the Polish guy. Now you're one, two, three, four against three. Now you're four against two. The Polish are four against two against the France. Aia, aia. Adesso mi sono detto le botte. Le botte. Adesso però. Ma te ti hanno solo due scelte. O te ne vedi uno fino alla fine. Stop! Stop. Non la dico. And it's four. Four. No. Yes, four. Correct. It's far for the Polish guy of uh, Kais Ritesh. First round versus... to Kais Ritesh. Versus Grau Yi. First round to Kais Ritesh. They did make some mistakes, ale, 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 but they did start ale, ale. the round very aggressive. It paid off to them. Some nice uh, grappling techniques were executed. A little bit of breath.
So it's time for the truth. Let's see if the French are going, are going to win the second match and go for the third. Or if the Polish just put the word end. Wow, one French is down. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 so Castrich secures that victory, that means they're still in the game, they really, really needed that victory, but so did Grovely, and Grovely still has one more match to go. Il prossimo scontro è White Company, KS Rider. I recommend to, to follow the number seven. Depending uh, on the is a first, there will be the first four. Very good, good grappler. I would recommend to follow number seven and number three. Yeah. Ah, three, it's Nikita. Uh, Nikita, yeah. Two spectacular fighters. And from uh, Group Grauli, uh, we will see if they have some good workers, good fighters. If they came to Masters, they already good, good, uh, good fighters. No, don't understand me wrong. Very motivated, for sure. Hello, Kevin. Uh, it is definitely possible to recenter the camera, but if we put it into the center, we don't see the other side of the list because the remaining two cameras are close to the side that is close to us. So we rotated it so uh, when there is action on the other side, we could see it. Miskuzi. There's the last weapon check, I think, no, And this is the last check, and the fight's about Gentlemen, to start. Ready? And the fight ready. is starting. France Let's move. Monaco. Opla, that's it. Oh, this is, uh, okay. this, this happens, sadly. We will remember it. The, 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 <laughs> when, you, when you fall by yourself, without <laughs> touching the, the enemy, it's a uh, uh, contactless fighting, or we don't know something about uh, the, the, Grima the, about the Grim Grimaldi. It's just you have to fall. It's Monaco magic. <laughs> That's it? Okay. So first round is done. Victory for Grimaldi Milites. Opa, Sabaton. Sabaton. Four. Four to zero. I think uh, the fourth is because of... Okay. Ah, number seven was outside? I believe so. Okay. He's okay. still outside. Okay. Machine, everything regular? Yes. Do, do, do you know uh, where from Team Growly? Which part of France? Uh, they're from the east of France, from Metz. Oh. Uh, they, they're a quite young team. Okay. I would, their yeah. first tournament, I believe, is from the beginning of the season and they've been fighting abroad a lot. Here you can see the fight starting. They've got, uh, they're still lacking experience, but they have got good hopes for them. Uh, they're training very hard. Well, the guy who was in the middle comes to the, to the, list, to the rail. You can see some wrestling on the side. Oh, and one double fall one one. for number two. Wow, we, we have three versus three. Yeah. Oh. And versus two. One takedown for Grimaldi Militis. Okay. And
They kick to the leg on the left side. Opa. He takes fighter from Grauli. Still standing. And that's a pull. Opa. Why stop? Two versus one. No, no, no. Two versus one. Two versus one. Wow. Nice punch from the French guy, and this is not a good place to be. Oh. But as you see, the, the Growly do, do the great fight with the mic. Very, very nice one. Wow. These fights of Group B. It's just Signori, something pausa, meditazione, riposo, impossible. pura ferite, very, bevande, ci very. vediamo qua, tra poco. Uh, I have not enough force to, to describe, but it was so cool to, to see, to watch this fight. So now I have to... Pre now. Okay, so the next fight will start at 6.15. Quarter past six. All the groups that are selected so, for the playoffs, the rendezvous is at 15 so minutes. So in a one hour, six.